If you are preparing for the CUET 2025 and you have a question that I have arts or humanities in my class 12th, can I opt for science in my graduation? Or I am the commerce student in class 12th, can I opt for the science student in graduation if this is possible? In this video, you will get your answer. So as per our UGC director, students can choose to study in any the program respective of their past disciplinary qualification if they demonstrate their competency. So you have to give entrance exam that is CUET where you can choose any of the subjects you are interested in irrespective of your background. So this is the good news for you kids. So let's see all the changes that our UGC director drafted so far for your CUET 2025-2026. So let's see this draft which will be applied next year probably. So there are the higher chances because it is proposed by our director of UGC. So first is by annual admission. So far we know that we can take admission only once. And if you have missed the admission during this July, June, uh, July and August, then obviously you have to wait for other year. But this time you don't have to wait for the next session. Rather you have two chances, one in July or August, other one is Jan or Feb. So you can obviously appear for, or you can just appear for the CUT exam and you can take the admission in these two months. So yes, admission will be bi-annually. Second, multiple entry and exit. So suppose because of some personal reason, you want to stop your course uh, after two years. And then like due to some personal or professional reason or like any issues, right? So if you really want to stop your course for after two years and you want to continue it after the after some years, you can do that. So you can extend the duration of your cor course according to your convenience. And if you really want to finish your course early, you can also do that so that you can pursue other uh, profession or other thing in your life. So yes, for four year course would be possible to be completed in three and half year. And if you want to extend the time up to the five years, you can do that. And same way, if, if any course is for three years, you can complete it in two and a half year or you can extend it for four years also. Flexibility for students. So uh, if you really want to, if you are from the different stream, like you are from the humanities or commerce, but you want to opt any science subject. So you have to opt for that subject in your CUT entrance exam. You just qualify it. And yes, you will get your dream college with your dream subject. So that means don't hold yourself back because you didn't have that subject in your class 12th. So you can give the wings to your dreams now and be ready to fly and just choose the subject that you really want to pursue, right? And next is minimum attendance requirement. So earlier when we were doing our, you know, this master's or graduation, we were have this rule of 75% attendance rule, right? So now they will reduce it and it's good because if you really want to pursue some skill course, which, will, which is like after college, it will make you so much, uh, you know, uh, ready for the global uh, workforce. So why not? So you can opt for those skills. You can utilize your time in other tasks also. So because of that reason, they are just reducing the time or attendance, right? So attendance uh, requirement. And next is credit in UG degree based on the skills. So if you have opted any skill online hybrid, that is going to make you so much, you know, uh, expert in any of the skills which is going to help you ahead in the, uh, you know, this uh, entrepreneurship, uh, you know, journey or workforce journey. So yes, you will get some credit during that time. It will be added in your final mark sheet and then you are getting this uh, credit, right? So it's going to uh, give you benefit in your overall performance and overall mark sheet. So these are some guidelines drafted by our director of UGC. Let's see how effective, effectively it would be implemented next year. So all the best and stay connected with our channel for more such update regarding CUET, NEET or J exam. All the best. And in case you have any suggestion in your head, please write down in the comment box. All the best.